Gupta and I'm 11 years old. I'm the founder of 10 xodakids.com and if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button and share this video with as many people as you can. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, kindly do it so that you don't miss any of my videos. So without any delay, let's get started and today we are gonna do a very interesting thing so i'm basically doing a javascript linkedin quiz so uh, linkedin has a javascript quiz that i'm gonna attempt today so let's get started dab so i'll go to chrome here's the linkedin quiz javascript assessment and let's start it three two one go yeah, so how do you remove remove the property name from this object? So constant foo is equals to an object name is Albert. So there's a remove foo dot name, delete foo dot name, delete name from foo, and del foo dot name. There's no del. There's you can't use delete keyword like this, and there's no remove keyword. So I'll go with delete foo dot name. Quite easy. When would results shown be logged to the console? So basically, let model document query selector results and uh, um, set timeout is there's a function over here and model dot class list dot remove hidden. So this is a asynchronous function over here so I think it would show it immediately because it is an asynchronous function set timeout is an asynchronous function so it will be happening in the background and this results shown will be logged immediately so I think it would be logged immediately next what is wrong with this code constant baz is equals to a uh, arrow function and it is returning hello world export const foo is equal to name albert so export const foo is equals to name albert export function bar return 42 export default baz export default arrow function a module can have only one default export you cannot default export an arrow function oh sorry there's an ant over here yep so you can have only one function named export you cannot export variables you can export only functions so I think a module can only have one default export i think a module can only have one default export yep i i think the module can have only one default export so let's continue which choice is not a unary array unary operator sorry so which is not a unary operator so delete is a unary operator as there's only one operand of delete then instance of i don't think is an unary operator as there is like you give the variable name and then the instance of keyword and then whatever instance of you want to check like array string or anything so uh, i don't know much about void so let's go with instance of <coughs> so which for the following class how do you get the value of 42 from x so basically we have a class x in this there's a getter function y so uh, i have made a video on getters and setters and in that if i remember correctly we use getters functions as properties so like we don't gi give the brackets and then we have variable x is equal to new x so i think it is x dot y because uh, we access the getters functions without the brackets so i think it is x dot y over here so what type of function can have its execution suspended and then resumed at a later point 
so its execution will be suspended and then resumed at a later point not arrow functions i don't think async await and i don't know much about generator functions i think it is a promise function yeah so i think it is a promise function what is wrong with this code so there is a constant foo in this there the, like it is a object it has a bar function and name is albert age is 26 so you can't make functions like this right so functions cannot be declared as properties of objects trailing commas are not allowed in javascript nothing there no errors the function bar needs to be defined as a key value pair yeah so this function bar should be defined as a key value pair right like it should be bar is key and then there's a function you can't do this directly so yeah so what will be logged to the console console dot log i so first of all i then set timeout console dot log love and this will happen in zero milliseconds and then it will console dot log javascript so i think it would log out i love javascript because it is directly console dot it is logging out i then directly it is logging out Ooh, this is somewhat tricky i don't know if it will log out love first or it will log out javascript first it must be between this or this um I'm going with I JavaScript love. Why? Because I have read this somewhere that when we uh, give a timeout, it is logged out in the end. So I think what I'm saying is correct, but I'm not exactly sure. So basically, I think it would log out I JavaScript love because I have read it somewhere that it logs the timeout thingy in the end. Okay. <sighs> what is the difference between the map and the for each methods on the array prototype? Okay, so this is quite tricky. The for each method returns a single output value, whereas the map method performs operations on each value in the array. Um, I don't think this is correct. The map method returns a new array with a transformation applied on each item in the original array, whereas the for each method iterates through an array with no return value. The for each method returns a new array with a transformation applied to each item in the original array, whereas the map method iterates through an array with no return value. So I think it will be this because I think the map method returns a new array and for each method iterates through an array with no return value. So I don't think there's a return value with for each. I think it changes the original array. I could be wrong. I, or I get always confused with this topic. I can't remember this exactly that for each returns a new array or map, but I think map returns a new array. So which statement creates a new function called discount price? So let function is equals to discount price price. This does not create let discount. This is also this also doesn't create let discount price this also doesn't create directly you can't give it like this you need to do it like this let discount price equals to function price and all so this was quite easy what is the output of this code variable object console.log object so it is undefined because there's no value of object and we are just logging it out so yeah it can't be an empty object it can't be an reference error because we have declared it so not defined error will not come null is 
it can be null or undefined like null is there's no value and undefined is not defined so the value is not defined so i'll go with undefined so how does the for each method differ from a for statement okay so for each can be used only with an array whereas a for can be used with additional data types that's one point for each allows you to specify your own iterator where for whereas for does not for loops can be nested whereas for each loops cannot for each can be used only with string whereas for can be used with additional data types i think it's the first one because i have only seen for each with an array um i've never seen like it with another data type whereas i've seen for with lots of other data types so i'll go with the first one what will be logged to the console use trick a function log this this dot disk is equal to logger and console dot log this new log this so what is basically happening we have a log this function and in this there is this dot desk so this is basically a constructor function i think so and this dot desk is equal to logger console dot log this and new log this this mm, it's um <laughs> i remembered something about e trick that it i don't remember if it is with only arrow functions or it is with normal functions also but i remember this shows window um Uh, when it is used strict so in strict mode it shows window so i'll go with window let result is equals to if 3 is equals to 3 42 else 0 okay so new lines what is wrong with this line of code new lines are required after curly braces and semicolons I don't think so. The equals to operator is not valid. No, you cannot use the let keyword in a top level scope. No, the if keyword starts a statement, not an expression. Hmm. new lines are required after curly braces and semicolons that's not true the equals to operator is not valid it is valid you cannot use the let keyword in a top level scope what does this statement mean you cannot use the let keyword in a top level scope in a top level scope the if keyword starts a statement not an expression so i'll go with this third one because i don't exactly understand what <laughs> what it means so yeah so which tag pair is used in html to embed javascript script <laughs> why is there a html question over here okay so i am in the top 5% of 1.1 million people who took this <laughs> okay that's good so <laughs> i earned a batch basically if you see i have a batch great work you earned a batch you are in the top 5% of 1.1 million people who took this show your badge on your profile founder at 10x for the kids javascript linkedin skills assessment badge founder star top jobs based on your skills 
I don't want to do a job right now. So, yeah. So, this was the LinkedIn JavaScript quiz, guys. Thank you, guys. If you like the video, don't forget to smash the like button and share this video with as many people as you can. Please comment down below how many questions you got correct and how many I got wrong. I don't know my results, what I got wrong and what I got correct. But comment down below what you are sure about that I was wrong. So, like, at what point I was wrong and you are sure about that I was wrong at that point. Please comment down below so that I can also improve. Thank you guys. Bye. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And keep watching my videos. Dab.